Hi, myself Pooja Bak, Assistant Professor of GKCM of GIS Group, Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering. Here you will find the details of my contact information. And I have developed a Facebook page where regular updates regarding this course are available time to time. Hello everyone. Here in this session, I will be going to explain basics of cyclic code and its properties also. So when we talk about cyclic codes, so those are linear parts of block code. So basically the cyclic codes are linear parts of block codes. So what is block code? I have already discussed about block codes in my previous video. And if you want to know about this, then you may check this video. So when you talk about whether this given codes are cyclic code or not, first of all, it should follows two property. Number one, one is linearity. So cyclic code should follow the property of linearity. So what is property of linearity? What is it? If we have two codes, CI and CJ, and if we add both, then resultant code that has to be a code word. So if we have a two code CI and CJ and if we add CI and CJ, then resultant code that has to be a code word. So cyclic code should follow linearity as per if two code word that is getting added it should be resulting into another code word. So this is what property of linearity. So I will explain later that by one example and that should be more clear. And the second property, which is cyclic shifting property. So when you have any cyclic code word and if you shift it towards right or left by any number of bits, then it should be resulting into code word. So if you have any cyclic code word and if you shift it, it towards right or left by any number of left with any number of bits then it should be resulting into code word. So when you have any code word at that time by having cyclic shifting and it should be resulting into code word. So this is what another property of cyclic code. So it should follow the two properties. The one proper one first property which is linearity. Linearity means if you have two code CI and CJ suppose and if we add both then resultant codes that has to be a code word. And the second property which is cyclic shifting so whenever you have any code word and uh, at that time by having cyclic shifting it should be resulting into a code word okay so this is the these are the two properties of cyclic code okay Now let us try to understand this 
by one example now see there are four code which is given 0000011 1001 and 1111 so here we identify whether this given code is cyclic code or not so for that first we need to identify property of linearity so first of all check the property of linearity so for that we need to add two code and it should be resulting into a code word which should be there out of this code okay so first of all we need to add two code and it should be resulting into a code word and which should be there out of this code so if you add zero with any it will be resulting into any so we don't need to check for 0000 because if we add this 0000 to any bit so it will be resulting this any into this any bit so we don't need to check it for zero so if you have this code 0110 and have this code 1001 and if you add this two code 0110 and 1001 then after modulo to addition it will be 111101011011 and 011 so the result will be 1111 so this 1111 code word this is also present here okay so we can say this combination is having this property of linearity because addition of any two code then the resultant code that has to be a another code word so after adding this to 0110 and 1001 the result will be 1111 and which is place which is a code word and which is also present here so we can say this combination is having this property of linearity okay now check out for other condition so take 0110 and 1111 so 011 0110 plus 1111 so the addition after addition it will be Zero one 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 zero one one zero zero one one. So there are modulo two addition and the result will be one zero zero one. So this is even present in this this one zero zero one, which is also present here. So we can say. this is even following linearity now we should check for remaining combination which is 1001 and 1111 so after adding these with help of modulo 2 operation 
it will be 0 1 1 0 and this is also present out of all four code so we can say it follows the property of linearity now let us check property of shifting now see I am just taking this code 0 1 1 0 in this 0 0 0 0 if you rotate 0 0 0 0 it will be 0 0 0 0 always so if you have 0 1 1 0 like this and if you shifting in this direction so it will be 0 0 1 1 so this 0 will come here at the first position and if you check this this code 0 0 1 1 it is not present in this so it is not a code word so above quotes are not cyclic code okay because in this 0000, zero, zero, zero if you in this 0000 zero, 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 or 1111 if you rotate it will be same okay but if you have like this 0110 and if you shifting these in this direction and it will be 0, 0, 1, 1. The last bit will come first. So it will be 0, 0, 1, 1. And if you check this code, it is not present in this. So it is not a code word. So above codes are not cyclic code. Okay. Now let us solve one more example. So it will be more clear. So the next example is 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1. Is it a cyclic code? Okay. Let's see. Okay. Now we have another set of codes and we delete to check whether the given codes are cyclic code or not. So first, first of all, let, let us check it for linearity. So check property of linearity. In that, if you add any code with zero, it will resulting into that code only. Suppose if you add 0, 0, 0, 0 with 0, 1, 0, 1. So the result will be 0, 1, 0, 1. So if you add any code with 0, it will be resulting into that code only. So we don't need to check with respect to 0, 0, 0, 0. Okay. So we will be taking these two combination first. 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 0, 1, 0. If you add this two, you will be finding 1, 1, 1, 1. So this code that already there in this. So this 1, 1, 1, 1, which is already there in this. So, now take this code and this code, which is 0, 1, 0, 1 and 1, 1, 1, 1. And if you add this 2, so it will be 1, 0, 1, 0 after modulo to operation. Because the same value 1, 1, which will be 0. 
then zero one one, then after that one one, which will be zero, and then zero one, which will be one. So the result will be one zero one zero. And this code is even present over here. One zero one zero is present here. You can say this combination is following property of linearity. Okay. Now let us check for this two combination. This two combination, one zero one zero and one 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 one. So if you two as per modulo two addition, so this will be zero one 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 both are same. It will be zero zero one one and one one. It will be zero. So the result will be zero one zero one here. And this zero one zero one code is even present over here. So we can say all combination follow proper following the property of linearity. So it follows the property of linearity. Okay. Now let us check the shifting property. Okay. Let's see for that zero 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 zero. If you rotate any direction, you will be finding it will be zero 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 zero. Okay. And if you rotate one 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 in any direction, you will be finding same. One 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 one. So only we need to check it for two code. So zero one zero one. So let us rotate it. Okay. So this three bit will go here, and this bit. That is shifted over here. So this one will come here. So this will be zero. This will be one, and this will be zero. After moving this, so it is one zero one zero. After rotating this zero one zero one. It will be one zero one zero. So if you check the if you check this code, it is present in this this one zero zero one zero one zero is present here. So we can see this is a code word. Okay. Okay, now you just do it for this one zero one zero. Okay, so now I have one zero one zero code, and if I shift it by one bit, then you will be finding it will be. Zero one zero one shifted by one bit, so the last bit zero will come first. So it will be zero one zero one. This is present here. So this zero one zero one bit also present here. So we can say this is a Code word. So, in this example, we can say it follows the linearity property and as well as shifting property. Okay. 
so as this code following shifting property and as well as property of linearity so we can say yes it is cyclic code because it follows the both property so this is the basics of cyclic code and its properties which i have discussed and uh, i hope that you have understood this session and thank you so much for watching this video